let f of t equal e to the 2t minus 2t squared, and h of t equal 4 minus 5t squared. The graphs of y equals f of t and y equals h of t are shown below. So y equals f of t is here in green. So this is really y is equal to e to the 2t minus 2t squared. We see f of t right over there. And y is equal h of t is shown in yellow. All right. Now below that, they say which of the following appear to be solutions of e to the 2t minus 2t squared equals 4 minus 5t squared. Select all that apply. And I encourage you to pause the video and, and try to think about it. Now the key here is to realize that e to the 2t minus 2t squared, that was f of t. And 4 minus 5t squared is h of t. So another way of thinking about it, select all of the all of the t's for which f of t, for which f of t is equal to h of t. So all of the t's where f of t is equal to h of t, well that's going to happen at the points of intersection. So for example, at t1, we see at this point right here, t1, y1. So this tells us f of t1 is equal to h of t1, which is equal to y1. So f of t is going to be equal to h of t at t is equal to t1. And we see that there because it's a point of intersection. Now let's keep on going. Well, they have another point of intersection right over here at t4. T, the, t4, y4, if you took f of t4, you're going to get y4. Or if you take h of t4, you're going to get y4. So f of t4 is equal to h of t4. f of t4 is equal to h of t4. So if you took e to the 2 times t sub 4 minus 2 t sub 4 squared and all the way, that's going to be equal to 4 minus 5 times t sub 4 squared. So t sub 4, since it satisfies both f of, since f of t and h of t equal each other when t is equal to t sub 4, these two things are going to equal each other when t is equal to t sub 4. And those are the only ones that are at a point of, that are at a point of intersection. And so I think we, I think we are done. Check my answer and got it right.